Welcome to another season of HS Game Time. I'm Ken Spencer. He is Tyler Griever. We kick off the year with two familiar foes in our game of the week. Yeah, Central and have really gotten used to facing each other to start the season. The two look at this as a great barometer to see where they really are after a long offseason. Yeah, check out the line to get into Ty Scroggin Stadium tonight. Ooh. Packed house to see the show. The Zuron Washburn show from a few yards out. Crimson's out in front. Central now looking to punt after a drive stalls. But here comes Manuel coming in for the recovery. Didn't matter because the Crimsons are taking over. That would lead to more from Mr. Washburn. He's wearing number 22, the same yeah. number as Jawan Northington mm -hmm. wore for so many years for Manuel. Big shoes to fill, but he's doing just fine. Manuel threatening again. We got a fumble. Uriah points recovers. He's got blockers. Plenty of wide open space. He's so fast, our camera can't even keep up because he's yeah, going tried. to okay. the hoose. They tried. All right. <laughs> so he's really fast. But this night was all about Zeron Washburn. His third touchdown of the night. Manual all over Central 40 to 12 as Donnie Stoner gets his first victory as Manual head coach. Hey, you know what? Now that it's over, I'm like, I can breathe again. You know, it was just one of those things where there was a lot of anxiety going on in the, in the, you know, before kickoff and then, you know, nerves and things had to calm down. But I'm just so excited for these guys. You know, they deserve it. They've worked so hard since January. And I feel great to get my first win as a head football coach. Uh, for this, it's just amazing. Everybody executed tonight. Just put up big numbers tonight. And we got the dub. We moved to the home of the 6A champion, St. X. The Tigers took down Mayo last year for the first title since 2009. Tonight, their title defense begins with Owensboro. Owensboro fell in the 5A semis last season, so two programs that were among the best in 2021. Tied at 14, last seconds of the first half. Dontre Richardson taking the handoff, cutting up, going to the outside, making a few men miss, and scoring to give the Tigers the lead before the half, 21 to 14. Second half, St. X's defense, man. Holden Siebel says, don't laugh about neck roll. We're rolling in here with the neck roll, boys. I love Ooh. a good neck roll. Love a good neck roll. Oh, I'm fired up to see it. More from the Tiger defense. Austin Uron breaks through for the sack. The Tigers start the season with a 28 to 14 win. Trinity beginning their year on the road at Carmel, just outside of Indianapolis. Rocks down 7-3 in the third. Andrew Allen with the sneak gives the Rocks the lead 10-7. Less than two minutes to play in the game. Same score. Allen trying to ice it. This will get it done. Clinton Sansbury breaking tackles, breaking hearts. 24 yards for the score. Rocks go on the road. Get a massive win, 17-7. to That was your motto when you played in college, right? Breaking Absolutely, tackles. baby. Yeah, we know it. JCPS matchup, Western Butler playing for the keg of nails in another edition of their rivalry. Third play of the first drive for Butler. One fumble, two fumbles. It's down around the 15-yard line. What is going on? First game of the season. Somebody get this straight. Next play, Western's Alias Durrett. He's taken this one all the way around for an easy touchdown. Long strides. Very nice. Butler trying to get something going. Tavion Jones with the ball. Well, I'm a little ahead of myself. Let's slow it down a little bit. Tavion Jones shovel pass to David Crawley. He's met with a Western wall. Another lateral. Does this work? Not really. Hot potato. Michael, what is going on in this game? Butler takes a close one. 14 to six. Well, we've talked about familiar foes, KCD and Eastern kicking their seasons off against each other. That kid's got a pineapple. I love pineapples. Good stuff. Eastern down six early, looking to even the score. Tyson Hoffman making a break for it. That'll tie it up at six. Eastern heading down for another drive. They're going to try the two point conversion again. They didn't get it the, the first time. So after another touchdown, this is Keaton Ward to Chase Stedman as Eastern's in control. KCD needs to stop the bleeding. They do. Kasani Wilson scores on the goal line push. It's not enough. Eastern rolls to a 46-18 win. Out in Oldham County, South Oldham hosting Cal. Centurions won the matchup a year ago by 20. Looking good on the road. Cal, Cole Hodge to Justin Ruffin on the slant. Cuts a dime. Going to the pylon for the score. 20 to nothing, Centurions. More from Cal. This time, Hodge down the middle to Darwin Cotton. What? Ooh. Okay. Pulls it in. Big time. That would lead to a field goal to make it 24 nothing. More from Hodge rolling to his right, finding Ian McKinley for the touchdown. Cal impressive on the road 
38 to nothing. When we come back, Mail kicks off a campaign to get back to the 6A title game, and we whip around some Southern Indiana matchups. <laughs> 